Hey there, Chiefs Kingdom. We've got a significant injury update today affecting two key players, wide receiver Hollywood Brown and cornerback Jalen Watson. Welcome back to the KC Sports Report. I'm your host, Michael Darcy, your go-to source for all things Chiefs. If you enjoy the content, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for daily coverage of our team. Let's kick things off with some good news. Recent reports from Matt Derrick of Chiefs Digest have confirmed that Hollywood Brown's recovery is progressing well. If you caught my video yesterday, you'll remember that he tweeted a clock emoji, hinting at a possible return. Well, it seems there's truth to that. According to Matt, all indications point to Hollywood Brown returning sooner rather than later. They won't open his practice window this week but it's likely to happen next week or the week after that. We could see him back in action in just a few weeks, which is fantastic news for our receiving core. Initially, reports suggested a mid-December return. His progress seems to align with that timeline, meaning he could be back just in time for the holiday season. Having him back will provide a reliable option for Patrick Mahomes, which is crucial as we aim to minimize those interception issues and enhance our passing game. Unfortunately, the news isn't all positive. Cornerback Jalen Watson is likely out for the season due to a broken ankle. I know many of us held on to some hope that it wasn't as serious as it sounded, especially after his cryptic tweet suggesting he might return. However, Matt Derrick has indicated that the organization views him as out for the rest of the year. This is a significant blow, especially given how the secondary has struggled in his absence. Teams have been targeting our number two corner, leading to some tough performances against quarterbacks like Josh Allen. Other players like Chris Lammons, Shamari Connor, and Nazee Johnson have all faced challenges filling that gap and it's clear we need to address this issue quickly. So, what's the plan moving forward? With Jalen Watson likely sidelined, we may have to rely on the existing roster to shore up that position. While I know this news might frustrate some fans, the Chiefs have a history of adapting and growing with the next-man-up mentality. There are some names out there in free agency, like Xavier Howard, but he's an aging option with some concerns about his fit in our system. Realistically, I think the Chiefs will look internally to fill the void. It's important for players like Joshua Williams, Shamari Connor, and Nazee Johnson to step up and show they can handle the pressure as we head into the playoff stretch. So, Chiefs Kingdom, what do you think the Chiefs should do to fill that number two cornerback spot? Should they pursue a free agent? Or do you believe sticking with the current roster is the best move? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this update, hit that like button and subscribe for the best Chiefs content on YouTube. I'm here every day bringing you updates, analysis, and insights. Thank you all for your incredible support over the past weeks.